What's an important lesson you learned the hard way? Do not spend like there's no tomorrow. Tomorrow will come, and it won't be pretty. Never have kids with someone you don't want in your life forever. Also ensure that they also want you in their life forever. To add, contraception is never the other person's responsibility. It is not even 5050. It is 100%, 100%, 100%. Money doesn't exist until the deposit hits your bank account, and business promises mean nothing until legal documents are signed. I'd like to add that the strength of a legal document is dictated by one's willingness to sue. Bingo. You have to be ready to take someone to court for specific performance and punitive damages. My dad made a deal using a crane manufacturer as an importer on the East Coast for some machinery we were jointly representing. Ended up that we had to sue his ass and keep on him for two years before he ended up paying us anything for the work we did on his behalf. In school, my law professor would say, when lawyers get involved, the only people who make money are the lawyers. I like the line Danny DeVito had in other people's money. Lawyers are like nuclear weapons. The other guys have them, so I gotta have them. But if anyone uses them, everything's fucked. Given that the owner kept dodging being served and would wait until the last minute for everything, we managed to get payment of legal fees tacked onto the judgment. Well said. I would only like to add, don't lend money to anyone unless it's on paper and terms of repayment are set and signed before even a penny is exchanged. This will save you from losing a lot of family and friends, but also save you from losing money you may have otherwise lost. If they can't pay you back right on time, you can always give them unlimited time to but if they ever try to make a run for it with your money, there's evidence otherwise it's your word, these, their word. I know it's inconvenient and tempting, not to because they're literally the people you trust the most in your life, but I learned this lesson several times the hard way and never saw it coming once. Can I add that you shouldn't lend money? You can't afford to lose or ever see again. Learn when to stop drinking and call it a night. This one takes some unfortunate trial and error. Just wish I'd learned before the error. Life is the hardest teacher. It gives you the test first, then the lesson. If something feels wrong, it likely is. Or someone, just trust your guts and be aware of red flags. Sometimes it helps to say, let me think about this for a few days and discuss it with someone else. Dental care is expensive. Never be lazy with oral hygiene. And dental problems are extremely painful. Can confirm, was headbutted at a pub when I was 16 and had months of dentist appointments to try and keep my teeth in place. Also had to live off milk milkshakes for two or three months because my front teeth were too wobbly to bite into anything. Lucky my mum got me dental insurance a few weeks before the assault took place low. Not everyone has the same heart as you do. Good, this one barely works anyway. Not everyone is a good person. Some people actually want to see you fail. Stop oversharing. These nasty people will use it against you. My brain still can't comprehend someone being a dick for no reason. Don't let love blind your eyes. Red flags are real. Yup. And to add, no one is worth sacrificing your self-respect for. When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Maya Angelou. When you look at someone through rose-colored glasses, all the red flags just look like flags. Bojack Horseman. A falling knife has no handle. This was the first thing that was drilled into me when I started working at the butcher. If a knife falls, you get out of the way and let it fall. When you look at someone through rose-colored glasses, all the red flags just look like flags. Bojack Horseman. It's possible to make no wrong moves and still lose. That is not a weakness, that is life. It's also possible to make no right moves and still win. That is not talent, that is life. Just because a person with authority tells you to do something, doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. I once had two border agents shouting mutually exclusive instructions at me while trying to re-enter the country. Any time I did what one said, the other would yell and tell me to do the opposite. Where was the border? 1,000 is not a lot of money to have, but is a lot of money to owe. $100 is simultaneously a lot more than I thought it was as a kid, while also being a lot less than I thought it was as a kid. The quote is cliché for a reason. It's true. $20 is an adult dollar. When I was a kid, my great-grandma would always give me a $2 coin every time I visited her. When I was really young, I was ecstatic. Two whole dollars. I could get a bunch of lollies for that. 
Cut to me being 17 and having a job, Granny had dementia, but she still always had a stash of two dollar coins. One each, for the great grandkids still. Much less impressive by then, but I still loved her for it. When we were younger, my cousins and I were always given a dollar by our grandfather each time we saw him. One day, my dumb little cousin said to him when he gave us our dollar, Hey, Grandpa, a dollar doesn't buy much anymore. Yeah, no, this was early 90s, and he just stopped giving us dollars. Hopefully, he learned a lesson worth more than a single dollar that day. Your family doesn't always have your best interest at heart. Sometimes, family are just a bunch of bad people who are biologically related to you. I wouldn't even call that family, just blood relatives. Sometimes, a found family is worth far more than a blood relation. Always take a chance to tell someone you love them, to give them a hug. Never end a conversation on a harsh word, both for the same reason. You never know if you will get to see that person alive again. I learned both those lessons from each of my parents. Wear a helmet. It's an easy safety precaution you can take when rollerblading, biking, skateboarding, scootering, etc. And it can literally save your life when all through the 90s thinking helmets were late. Fell while rollerblading in my 30s and got a subdural hematoma. I wasn't going fast, but the momentum from how I fell just slammed my head into concrete. Helmets save lives. It also use the seat belt. Going to shamelessly piggyback on your comment for my sir about eye protection. You only have two eyes and many injuries are not repairable. I have completely shit vision in one eye because of an injury, and I'm constantly paranoid about something happening to the good eye. Wear safety glasses, folk. It's important. Stand up for yourself. If you get in the habit of letting people walk all over you, it'll be extremely difficult to reverse. Even if you're not confident, just fake it till you make it. This. It was shamed and punished out of me as a child, and it is so hard relearn it now. Going to shamelessly piggyback on your comment for my say about eye protection. You only have two eyes and many injuries are not repairable. I have completely shit vision in one eye because of an injury, and I'm constantly paranoid about something happening to the good eye. Wear safety glasses, folk. It's important. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Shit happens, and it doesn't really need to have a reason. Sometimes you will be the bad guy, and sometimes you will be the good guy. It happened. I always expected that bad things could happen to me, but things happening that made others see me in a bad light against my intentions is something that really caught me off guard. I always try to be good, so when I for some reason is seen as bad, that is a very off-putting feeling. Suddenly, I am a minor negative side character in someone else's story. You just got to remember that you meant well. Everyone makes mistakes, and it could be a cultural difference or misunderstanding. They probably don't see it or remember it as bad as it feels for yourself. True love, love that isn't confusing, judgmental, suffocating, or comes with a price, isn't easy to find. So, if you catch it, hold on to it. Just because you're kind doesn't mean other people will also be kind to you. You are not your emotions. You are an awareness who observes them. Save money. Don't gamble. Being the smartest person in the room isn't always a good thing. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. The pull-out method works until it doesn't. People who use this method have a name. Parents. Life is unfair. Some people get it all, and some get none. Loyalty to a company does not pay. That family doesn't automatically mean support of empathy. Not everyone deserves your niceness. Additionally, not everyone deserves your meanness just because you're pissed off that one person or group of people disappointed you. I don't need validation from others. Making jokes about my trauma makes my trauma easier for me to deal with. Making jokes about the trauma of others is fucked up and not my place. Don't marry someone with mental illness that refuses treatment. Nobody's coming to save you. Get off. Using substances to cope is actually the opposite of coping, and the only thing you can be sure of is the eventuality of everything blowing up in your face. 139 days sober. 298 days and three different states since I left my addiction behind. It gets easier every single day. My entire life came crashing down in a viciously quick fashion. 298 days ago, and I'm the happiest I've been in a decade. Days ago, and I'm the happiest I've been in a decade. 
congratulations on 139 days. I love that for you.